Um, hi, this is Rusty. I'm uh, just making a small guide as to how to set up sort of stream audio on a uh, on a stream. Um, sort of um, assuming you're using XSplit um, and Windows 7. Um, so, as a rough idea of what we want to do, um, we have game sound. Wants to go to stream audio, and also to the headset audio. You want to hear what you're playing. And the microphone needs to go to stream audio. I'm assuming that you don't really want to hear yourself in the microphone. Um, personally, I find it really distracting to be able to hear my own voice sort of back through the headset, but it's, it's easy to configure it otherwise. Um, and then uh, music um, can go to stream audio or headset audio. Um, we're assuming that you have shit tastes in music and uh, the purpose of this setup is that if, if you don't want that music to go out on your stream but you still want to listen while you're playing, then um, then that's what we can do. So um, currently I'm using Winamp. It's set up so that uh, crap music will go uh, go through the stream and all my viewers, well, all like four of them. Um, so the way to change that is you go into um, options and preferences, and then in the output um, you want direct sound. So you go into configure, and then from this drop-down menu you can select um, what it goes to. So I'm going to select my headset earphone, then click OK, close. And you have to stop the play to um, reset it and then play it again. And now that's going through my headset, but um, you guys can't hear it on the on the stream, so that's that's fine. So and the second thing we need to do is we need to split up a way to um, essentially have two different audios going on. So to do that, we use a virtual audio cable, um, and then go into the control panel and you can leave all these as default. You only want one channel set, and then uh, you click restart. I won't do it because it'll screw up my drivers at the moment because it's running. But let me do that. You can then exit. And then, um, then we get onto the sort of the tricky stuff. So, your microphone to your stream audio that should already happen if you're using XSplit. Um, it's a very very basic basic options in a, in. I mean, you can't see any of this because it's it's turned off. But you go into general settings and it'll be in there in the recording tab. So, um, once we've got our virtual audio cable set up, we want to go into our sound options and then right click it and playback devices. And you want to set your virtual audio cable up to be the main default device for your audio, which will mean that absolutely everything that comes through your computer will then go into line one. So, for example, if we uh, if we just open up StarCraft, wait a few seconds, the audio for this should, in theory, come out to come out to the stream video, but um, in the current setup, um, I won't be able to get it through my headset. So I can't hear anything right now. I'm assuming the audio is going through the stream. There's, there's some sound going on there. In the main thing. So if I uh, exit that, as it crashes for a second, okay. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So t the way to get um, the game sound through the headset audio, um, you could do this if you're not on Windows 7. You will have to do it with an audio cable. You go into the audio repeater, you set up one of these, um, I'm not going to go into it, um, they're not that complicated. It generally helps if you've got a diagram like this, because you would set up an audio repeater that says game sound, which is going to line 1, to headset, which is there, and then you do that. Um, the issue I find with this is you tend to get a fair bit of lag, because um, you need to buffer it. Um, if you don't want to get that lag, if you're in Windows 7, you can go into recording devices. You can then go into here, go into line 1. You right click, um, go into properties, I'll just click the button down there, and then we have this listen tab. And if we check listen to this device from this menu, we select our headset earphone, or if you're using speakers, you select your speakers, and click apply. OK. And uh, now what should happen is that when I go into StarCraft again, um, the game sound will come through my headset, but will also still be going out to the stream. As it loads. Okay, so yeah, instantly I can hear in the background the small amount of noise. And then when I enter, I'm now getting this sound through my headset as well. So I can play StarCraft and I can play it happily. Um, my viewers can get the uh, can get the audio from the game. And I don't have any problem with, uh, with not being able to hear it. And uh, if you want it so that your microphone goes through your headset, um, you would also set up a listening to thing for that, so you go into recording devices and then in your headset microphone, you would go into the properties and you can then um, click listen to this device, it will then send it to line 1 which will then get passed back onto your headset, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want it. 
by the same margin if you want your music to also go through your um, go through your stream as well as your headset if you go into the preferences and uh, configure this and set it to line one then it will then when I press play um, OK and close if I then stop and reset it that goes through both my headset and my stream and you get whatever rubbish music you want to play on both so hopefully this short guide was, was useful um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and um, thanks for tuning in